made it to the bottom. Okay. According to your signal, you're at the coordinates. Any sign of our hall? No. Not yet, anyway. You got any pinks from up there? Afraid not. All right. I'll just keep heading downstream. Copy that. Keep me posted. You got it. Hey, I might watch you down to a quarter tank. You want to come up? Nah, nah, I'll be fine. Can't be far. If you don't find it soon, I'm calling it. I'll find it. All right. Hey, I got something here. What is it? No rust, right color. Maybe it hit the rocks, tore off before tumbling. Hey, you're mumbling. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it looks like a piece of our wreck. Must be close by. You're teasing me now, Drake. You're teasing me. Ah, there you are. I found it. All right. How's it look? Uh, it's beat up, but intact. What do we got here? All right, I can see the cargo. Looks like most of the crates are here. Can you get an accurate count? I'm gonna have to go inside for that. Stand by. All right, here we go. There. Whoa! <laughs> Morning, fellas. All right, I'm in. Well, looks like a lot of it's still strapped down. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, by my count, we're shy two crates. I'm gonna go round them up. Hold on. How about you come up first, get a fresh tank? Ah, the crate's gotta be nearby. I got this. Ha! Found one. Ah, crap. The crate's pinned beneath the trailer. Tell you what. Secure the other crate first, then we'll lift the trailer up for you. Uh, you see, that's why you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> yeah. Ha! <laughs> Found the other crate. One down, one to go. Secure it in the trailer. We're nearly at your position. All right, see you soon. All right, that's one crate secure. Good timing. We're right above you, slings on its way down. Coming down. Okay, it's in position. Look up the trailer, we'll raise it up a bit for you. Okay, got the cable. I'm gonna try looping it around one of the axles. That should work. Yeah. Hey, that's one. All right, you watch your oxygen now. That's fine. That's two. Okay, trailer's secure, ready to go. All right, get clear, we'll lift it up. Ready when you are. And up we go. Okay, that enough? Yeah, plenty, just don't drop it on me. <laughs> no promises. Okay, we got the other crate. I'm gonna strap it in with the others. Cargo present and accounted for. 
And with five minutes of oxygen to spare. Jesus. Hey, maybe you should hang out then. See if you can find some other treasures down there. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Wanna ride up? <laughs> I'd love one. Let me know when you're on the sling. Okay, I'm in position. Get me out of here, will you? You got it. Going up. Uh, uh, uh. Look at that beauty. How you feeling? Oh, better now that I'm out of that river. I'm gonna stink like fish for a week. <laughs> All right. We're gonna come to you. Hang on. Hang it. What's up, boys? Good to have you back, Drake. Yeah, it's good to be back. Toss down your gear. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> Whoa, this tank's kind of light. I'm just making your job easier, right? Drake, gotta say that wasn't the slowest dive I've ever sat through. <laughs> Hold on, is that a compliment? Because I'm stunned. Nah, you know what's stunning? Your smell. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> I don't know, man. I kind of like it. Reminds me of your mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's cold, man. I'm going to tell her you said that, too. My man. How'd we do? How do you think? Full recovery? Every last bit. <laughs> Making the rest of us look bad. I'm making the rest of you look good. Okay. Done. Man, I wish they knew all this to the Government's like 10 years behind the rest of the world, right? Hey, how much longer are you gonna be? We just got this thing out of the water. Give us an hour or so. We'll wrap it up as fast as you can. We got shipping vessels waiting. Don't you worry. Wait a minute. Dick. Oh, this isn't right. Let me read this. Let's wrap this up later. My hero. <laughs> Come on. Let's go see what you brought us. Hey, so how about you let someone else be point man next time? You've earned a break. How we doing down there? Give me a second. Let's see here now. Care to do the honors? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Wow. Look at that. You struck a cop. <laughs> well, you'd be surprised how much this stuff is worth. Client's paying good money for the full recovery. Sure you don't want to just melt it down, make some pennies? <laughs> Come on, let's go celebrate. First round's on me. Bar hopping with you guys? <laughs> no, 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 not unless there's hazard pay. Uh, if it's all the same to you, I think I'm just gonna do the paperwork and uh, get home and crash. A rain check, though? All right, suit yourself. Hey, good work today. Thanks. Hey, hey, Nate. Nate, hold on. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I got a present for you. Present? Yeah. What's this? I got some news from my contact about that wreck off the coast of Malaysia. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the ship's intact. Yeah? Cargo's right for the pigging. You are a persistent one, I'll give you that. And 
All the money came through for the equipment, too. We are all set. Except, uh, my best guy. The guy I trust for the job, the only one. He, he's got cold feet. My feet were never warm to begin with. And tell me, this contact of yours? You get the permits? No, he did not get the no. permits. Can't no one get the damn permits? Of course not. But Nate, don't you see that works in our favor? No permits means no competition. The ship is ours. No permits means no go. <sighs> Nate, this is retirement money for the both of us, okay? I don't know about you, but I don't want to be working salvage when I'm 60. Do you? Sure beats prison. No. Listen, I have to pass. And trust me, so should you. Okay, just take it with you. Humor me. I'm okay? not gonna change my mind. Oh, then don't hurt to sleep on it, does it? <laughs> Say hi to Carla and the kids for me, okay? All right. No pressure, Nate. But think about it. <sighs> you really did your homework on this one. Narrowed down the search area. It would make a hell of a find. Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, no, no way. You are going with the others. Climbed your big brother some years back. A Spanish doubloon found in a German U-boat in the middle of a jungle. Who would have thunk? Sir Francis Drake takes a bullet for Sully. Look at us. Shambhala. <laughs> Miss you, pal. killed each other for a piece of this. Sir Francis and his elaborate puzzles. Thanks for nothing, St. Dismas. <laughs> yeah! Here they come. Take cover. We're surrounded. Bullseye. Right. Take that. Back in business. Yeah, bring it. And that. Eat plastic. Gotcha. Like a pro. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. Well, playtime's over.
You were up there a long time. Well, I was researching something. Oh, is that what we're calling it these days? I was. Hey, would you mind grabbing the food? I'm just wrapping up here. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Thanks. Done. Okay. Oh. Finish it? Yeah. Oh. You know, it's probably too long and full of typos, but that's what editors are for, right? God, I'm starving. It looks good. Mm-hmm. So, how was your day? What? Hmm? Huh? Got none of that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm -hmm. Typical day in paradise. Mm -hmm. I uh, I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of a river. Mm. Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? Oh, it was some brilliant stuff. It was a uh, early 21st century truck we got. <laughs> Apparently the natives called it a semi. Oh, dear Lord. Kind of so, it, boring stuff. Tell me about the article. Well... It started out as this fluff piece about tourism in Bangkok, but I don't think the magazine is gonna like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs, like the second that you got off the plane, so. I kinda took this Ah. What? Where are you? I'm in here, being stabbed with a fork. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? what? This one? Mm-hmm. Uh, the people of, of uh, Bangkok. And, and the smog, and how they, they can't, uh, can't get a flight anywhere, and people can't breathe them. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. No, it was valiant. It I was, was in the really... ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really. I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't but seen him Elena, in about two years. Well, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Stop, I'll do them. No, you did on. them last night. No, you cooked. I clean. It's fine. I mean, at least, at least, uh, let me, let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me, um, uh, play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? Oh, wow. OK, cowboy. OK, watch and learn. Oh, I'm learning. All right. Is this it? No, it has to load. Load? Yes. This is taking a really long time. You have no patience. When you turn something on, you expect it to... Okay, there we go. Ah! Crash Bandicoot. Is there a problem? No, no, just, uh... How do you, uh... How do you make it go? Push the start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. 
Okay, so you want to run towards the camera. Run to the camera, got it. And the circle button is your spin attack. Spin attack! Yep, press X to jump. Right, which one's X? The right thumb. Got it. You'll want to jump over all the pits and the obstacles. Oh, that's like my thing. Okay, run away from the boulder. Why is the boulder chasing me? Just run away from it. I did nothing to this boulder. Use your spin attack. Good, good. There you go. What is that thing, a fox? A bandicoot. It looks like a fox. It's like a fox in jeans. Okay, smash the boxes. What is a fox smashing? Ow! Oh, that had to hurt. It did probably hurt. So why do you keep playing this? Because I'm really great at it. I don't know why people get into video games. <laughs> that spinning hurt? Perfect. By the way, foxes can't do this. It's a bandicoot. That doesn't look anything like a bandicoot. Have you ever seen? Oh, what happened? You fell in the pit. I don't know. How do I uh, climb back up? You're dead. Well, that's not realistic. I, I would have climbed back up. He should learn to climb. Climbing's always helped me. Last life. You gotta make it count. Oh, I so got this. Okay, you got it. There you go. Nice. Right? Oh, these graphics are pretty good, aren't they? Mm -hmm. oh, poor fox. Bandicoot. Is that it? You asked for it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good really? cleaning. Really? You gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way no, easier on no, easy Just keep mode. talking. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning you. What are you gonna do? I'm warning you. In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. You. What can you I'm do in real life? What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? <laughs> um. Um? <laughs> really? Come here. Not open yet. We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Asshole. <sighs> yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for my little brother. It's about your height, a little bit leaner. Definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? It's good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they... I mean, doctors, they patched me up and they... tossed me right back into the cell. But I, I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. Well, Nathan, we killed a guard. Okay, so they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. Jesus, Sam, I. Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have you come back. would have come back. I know, Nathan. I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. 
Hey, hey. You still with me? Yeah. Need some air. <laughs> You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. <laughs> it's a lot to digest, you know? But how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Hey. Have a seat. Hey. I want to hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. So what's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. Tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. <sighs> These were crazy stories. Got shot, hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas? Yeah, that, uh... That actually happened. Come on, man, what did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. Okay, um, a few years back, I got roped into uh, breaking into this Turkish museum to steal this oil lamp, okay? Oil lamp? Uh, it was an artifact from Marco Polo's lost treasure fleet. Kubla Khan's treasure. Yeah. Yeah, and as it turns out, there was a whole hell of a lot more on those ships than just treasure. I mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and uh, we made it out alive. Barely. <sighs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I've managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, engagement ring. The... Engagement ring? I'm married. I can't believe... Uh, Elena, from the stories, that's my wife. You gotta come meet her. Tonight, dinner. At my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you. Nathan, I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? What are you talking about? What kind of trouble? Is the name Hector Alcazar ring about with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? Funny story, but um, last year he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. Well, you're not reading the night. Samuel, come here. Be drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> well, I mean, they have wives to go home to. What do we got? Huh? No offense. We have ambition. Oh. <laughs> and when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. What will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can. But I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time. Which I'm sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? 
I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? The opportunity of a lifetime. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Segmento aquí. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel, are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vámonos. Holy Los shit. demás están en posición. En camino. Todo va de acuerdo al plan, señor. Fantastic. How long have you had this plan? Since the moment I set foot in this place. Samuel, keep up. We're going to have to move quickly. Holy shit. Ocúpate de la puerta. Nunca saldrás de aquí. Silencio. Jesus. These men are sadistic. We're doing the world a favor, huh? Here. You'll need this. You remember how to use it. Yeah, it'll come back to me. Abran todas las puertas. Hector. You do that, and you'll start a goddamn riot. <laughs> exactly. Háganlo. Stay close, Sammy. Let's do this. This is crazy! <laughs> We're going to need to earn our freedom! Working. Yeah, I see. So now what? Estamos en posición. ¿Están listos? Sí. Busquen dónde cubrirse. Samuel, get behind something. What? Why? Just do it. Oh, okay. You are right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Estamos bien. Las camionetas están. Muy bien. Este gringo. El gringo es el camino. Manténgalo vivo. Detengo, gringo. Me pasa la batería. Perdón. Yeah. Yeah, 
almost. Samuel, take cover! Samuel, in a minute, we will either be free or dead. Are you ready? Shit! Stay back! Next for Samuel Drake. Huh? Mm. Jesus, what is next? Uh, I think a bath. I'm gonna sleep in a real bed. Mm. Maybe find a nice warm body to sleep next to me. Uh, track my brother down. Seems like a pretty good start. Uh, it is. 
Sorry. How long do you think it will take for you to retrieve Avery's treasure? Uh... I don't know. I mean, I uh, get back to the States, I can resume my search. How long? It's kind of hard to say until I get started. You said you know where it is. Yeah, uh, I do, okay? But... Listen, it's, it, it's not like Avery left some map with a big red X on it, okay? But I've, I've, I've got some very oh, solid... Yeah, least... Oh, okay. J just, just wait a minute. Take, take, take... Hey! Take it easy! I like you, Samuel. More importantly, I believed you. That is why you were here. I can, I can get it, okay? I, I just need some time. Dame un cuchillo. You see, the problem is... I'm having all these doubts into my mind. Hector, listen to me. I will find it. I swear to you. How long? Six months. <laughs> People are lazy. They always ask for more time than they actually need. Three months. Three months is a bad. Three months. Half the treasure. Can you do it? Say it. Three months. Half the treasure. Now. If you run, or try to hide the treasure, or do something really stupid, like go to the authorities, oh no. And when you least expect it, I will be there. At that point, death is not a mercy I will grant you. Here. Come on. The nearest town is 10 kilometers in that direction towards the sunrise. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen the sunrise outside, huh? Vamos. When I find it, then what? Don't worry. When the time comes, I'll be there to collect. When I swear this, Samuel. Uh, let's me go and here we are. This is bad. We just pick up the trail where we left off and wait, trail? Sam, there's no trail. After Rafe and I escaped, he took his parents' fortune and bought up all the land around St. Dismas Cathedral. We combed that place for weeks. Avery's treasure isn't there. Not that that stopped Rafe. Moron's been digging for years, still hasn't turned up squat. Not really surprised. What does that mean? Well, I just, you know, happened to do a little digging of my own. And, uh, I bet your Rafe doesn't have this. It's really amazing what you can find on the internet these days. It's just the St. Dismas Cross. Oh, is it? Because the one we found was broken and hollow, remember? Holy crap, it's still intact. Avery made more than one cross. So whatever's missing from the one in Panama... ...is probably still inside this one. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. Well, where is this? Oh, this exquisite piece is going up for auction in three days at the Rossi Estate. The Rossi Estate? Oh, well, you know it. Uh, yeah. And how do you plan on securing an invite to an exclusive, heavily guarded black market auction? Well, you don't necessarily need an invitation, per uh, se. Huh? Yeah. And uh, where are you gonna get the money to outbid all the high rollers? I could take a second mortgage out on my house, and it still wouldn't be enough to... Yeah, you're gonna try and steal it, huh? No. We are. Oh, no. No, man, listen, I'm, I can't. I'm, I'm out. What? No, I, I, I just don't do that kind of thing anymore. 
Besides, there, there are plenty of other guys that are much more equipped to handle this kind of thing. Like who? Um, uh, I don't know, like, uh, Jeez. anybody, uh, Charlie Cutter. No. No, he's my no, go-to no, guy no, for this sort of thing. No, absolutely not. I don't trust Charlie or anybody else that you've got in that phone with my life, okay? I need you on this one. Oh, man. Sam, there's gotta be another way. Not with the time I got left. Certainly not with Alcazar. Hey, hon, it's me. Hey. Yeah, uh, listen, you're not gonna believe this. What? Jameson just walked in here with the permits. Yeah, I know, I know, but uh, it's like I'm going to take that Malaysia job after all. See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. And no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. Looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. You see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. <laughs> Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? No, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right, simple. It'd be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam. We could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? Sam, he knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Say Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And, no, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine, fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. But I mean, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. <laughs> just try to keep your tux clean. Thanks. I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here you know, with you in Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Ah, uh, well. You know, the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh. Uh, so this, this isn't your first time here? No, it's more like uh, third. Had a couple of odd jobs. With Sullivan? Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. And there's no way up under that bridge. Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Oh, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. I, uh... I missed. <laughs> uh, see, it's, uh, it's all in the wrist. Here, let me see. Ah, see? Yeah, it's not bad. For a second attempt. Here we go. 
You see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. So where to next? Hey, we can swing off that beam up there. Uh, definitely. Hey, let's switch places. All right, climb over me. I've, I've got a good grip. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> First try. All right, no one likes a show off. Okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. modo di dire, respira attraverso un tubo e forse non potrà più camminare. Ah, bene lista. Ehi, hai scommesso sulla partita? Inghilterra vincente. Inghilterra? Traditore. Ehi, non confondere l'orgoglio nazionale con la realtà. Ok, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renner thug was packing some serious heat. Should have brought guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly, we won't need them. I hope you're right. <sighs> All those years. It's the little things that you miss the most. Like what? The smell of fresh citrus. <laughs> uh, riding the motorcycle, it's little things, but they add up. That should hold. All right, come on down. a little more painful than I remember. Yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, your other wonderful finds, uh, the ones I missed, you at least take any pictures? I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but the camera didn't make it. That's too bad. I have some drawings, though. When we get back, I can show you. You have drawings? What, are they up on the fridge or something? No, I, they're good drawings. I can't wait. I don't see anything to climb here.
Ah, this looks promising. I think you mean precarious. Shit! You okay up there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Suck if you missed right now. It sure would. <clears throat> but I don't miss. million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? You know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. <sighs> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamn. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. This fine once belonged to the National Museum of Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. <laughs> But there's got to be something. Well, if the gods see us make it for that cross... But they don't see us. Hmm? Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for lights, for lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical. That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. Yeah, that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. Except there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? Hey. I'm all set. Hey. How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Mm -hmm. That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room. Kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. Huh? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. I gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I'm chuck it up to go on Excuse me. Really? Ah, you kidding me. Hell no. What are you doing? I'm just going over our exit strategy. It's gonna get hairy. <laughs> Look, relax. We've pulled off tougher heist than this. Yeah, I know, I know. I just... 
Try not to imagine what they'll do if they catch us. Sam, if things go bad, we'll be dead long before they catch us. That's a comforting point. Yeah. Sellers just through there. Let's go. This place is fancy. Of course they play douchey European techno. Monsieur Lanza, do you remember us? Are you still working on repatriating everything? Here we are. Hey, let's do this. Oh, hell, it's locked. Earlier. Now what? Can we pick it? No, it's electronic. We're gonna have to find another way in. You see that? Key card, back left pocket. Yep. I'm on it. No, no, no. You sure you wanna do that? There's a lot of eyes out here. I think I can handle a simple lift. All right. Some pointers? No, just warming up, that's all. Okay. okay. What do you say we just run it like the old days, okay? I do the interference, you make the grab, right? Yeah. Good. Go. Pleasure to watch professionals at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is? 
Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. You're so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. I'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Nadine Ross? Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. Ready? <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. You gotta find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. Yeah, lure one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. Crap. You see a waiter in there? Nah, just more heavily armed goons. The hell is this? This game wasn't on the blueprint. Unlocked, of course. Okay, plan B. I told you, it's locked. Trust, but verify. And? It's locked. Right. up there. Nathan, come check this out. There we go. Let there be light. Got electrical in this joint. <sighs> Don't suppose you brought a... F yeah, that'll do. Guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not gonna fly. Hey, uh, should we worry that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross? I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. Guy can talk his way out of anything.
There you go. This way. Hey, look, the vents. That's our way out. Yep. Let's find something to climb on. Yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding the lighter. Holding the lighter. Okay, up we go. Right there. That's smaller than it looked, huh? <coughs> and a lot more dusty. Shh, 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 damn it. Waiters. The ball looks like my size, too. There's no shortage of waiters around here. Tanto non capirebbe. Diavoli si procurano Good. tutta questa roba. Sono pezzi rubati ai ricettatori. Ai siti al... Fresh air, here we come. Hey, check this out. See that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? What? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. <clears throat> All right. Good thing you kept in shape. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? <sighs> it must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Bingo. Found the kitchen. And of course... It's... Sam, look. Maybe we can use that and find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of that. <clears throat> Sera. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? So he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? Another one in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ballroom. It's not a... <laughs> Sam, you there? <clears throat> Sam? Sully? Great.
Guys, if you can hear me, I'm just about at the power room. Should be there soon. Ish. You got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> I recognize someone? No. I thought I did, but no. But when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh, like dead out? Oh no, more like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan. How the hell are you? Brave. How long has it been? Ten years? Twelve? Fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business, now. But yes, that is my day job. <laughs> oh, that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days, I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big score. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah, I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. See? <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel, you two kids have fun tonight. Just hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody mirrors. Cut the bullshit, old man. I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn Rafe. fight. Rafe! <laughs> well, you get my point. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay. Power room. I can do this. God, why did I pick the power room? Yeah. <sighs> 
Sì. Eh, non ci pagano abbastanza. Se dobbiamo fare anche gli elettricisti... Eh, puoi dire di no. Ecco fatto. Oh, speriamo di non dover cambiare altri fusibili del cazzo stasera. Direi che per stasera può bastare. Ma che diavolo? Pronto? Che cosa? Here we go. Now, where the hell are the circuit breakers? Ah, oh, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid, where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the power, now would be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here, and as of right now, he has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing it, remember? What if he calls my bluff? <sighs> he won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once. Going twice. Screw it. Then we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. For a penny and for a pound. That bid brings Don't us worry. to 120. We'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Okay, just gotta smash the lock. <sighs> nope. Now the bid has reached 130,000. Nothing. Damn it. We are now at 140. It's gotta be something. Come on. Man, uh, starting to sweat bullets here. Yeah, give me a sec. Takes us all the way to 150,000 euros. Yes! The bidding stands at 160,000 euros in the room. <laughs> gotcha! Signore, the bidding makes 150,000. All right, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's bid, 180,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? <laughs> Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice. Then I shall sell it for 500,000. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The backup power will come on shortly. It's gone. Move it! Get out of the way! Stop him! Hey, stop that guy! Fermo! What are you doing? You're letting him get away! You speak Spanish. What? <clears throat> Sam, tell me you got the cross. I got St. Dismas right here. You want to say hi? Yeah, we've really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballroom's locked down, security scrambling. Hey, Victor, where's our getaway? Come to the driveway out front. Just follow the spotlights. I'll bring the car around. Easy. Ho visto qualcosa che si muoveva vicino alla torre. 
Devi farlo sapere a tutti, gatto! Tieni gli occhi aperti! are everywhere. Okay, maybe we should have brought guns. Un attimo. Si è mosso qualcosa lì. Cos'è stato? Cosa ha trovato? Niente, tutto a posto. Gotta climb and get a good vantage point. Merda, se riescono a svegliarsela, non ce la faranno. Li troveremo e li riempiremo di buchi. Ma sappiamo cosa fare. Resta concentrato. D'accordo. <gasps> On my way. Heading to higher ground to get my bearings. All right, see you soon. Yeah. Everything's fine. No one got a good look at me. Just gonna play cool. Stroll right on out of here. Oh, scuse. You're not supposed to be back here. Well, neither are you. But I'll tell you what, I won't tell anyone if you don't. You have something I want, and you're going to give it to me. Really? Well, I'm flattered, but I'm afraid I'm spoken for. If you'll excuse me. I'm not in the mood for games. Give me the crucifix. Lady, you're lucky I'm a gentleman. Because if I were... You'd want. All right, fine. Just remember, I didn't want to do this. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> nice try. I gave you that one. Come here. Now hand me the artifact. Do you know how many artifacts I've collected over the years? <laughs> You're gonna need to be more specific. Let me see if I can clarify! God. Hey, look. I'm still a little jet-lagged. Oh, son of a... Have you had enough? Or do you want to keep being a smart-ass? Okay, come clean. You're no chiropractor. Your technique is really not helping my back. All right, wait, wait! It's in my back pocket. Where is it? Right there! Just met your friend Nadine Ross. She's lovely. Yeah, well, it's total chaos out here. They're trying to keep it contained, but everybody's freaking out. I don't want to rush you, but hurry the hell up. Nathan, where you at? Good question. You? By the ballroom. Look for this brown sign thing. It's on the way. Brown sign thing. Check. Good news is I got a gun. See you soon. Te lo giuro. Ho visto qualcuno che usciva dalla finestra della biblioteca. L'ho sentito, ma non sono riuscito a vederlo. Per lustrati i testi. Qui! Sono passati da qui! 
Da questa parte! in there <laughs> I can't get to you from here you got a way down yeah yeah I think so okay I'll meet you at the driveway just head towards the ballroom all right see you there you spot even with the queen set that shot in area Victor I'm kind of stuck here any ideas the fastest way is through the ballroom you said the ballroom's locked down yeah well now that they know it's you guys they cleared the place out that ballroom it is you get that Nathan yeah got it Cos'è stato? Too close. Ma che... Posso allarme? Aspetta! Arrivederci! Almost to the ballroom. Nathan, I'm pinned down in here. I can use a hand. On my way, Sam. Oh, good. La giù, ho sentito qualcosa. 
Dobbiamo dare un'occhiata. Alright, here we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Jesus Christ, Nathan! Hey, how's it going? Uh, I think I'm done with this auction, huh? Oh yeah, me too. What's our backup? There's that fountain just outside the ballroom. I'll meet you there. Got it. Let's go.
This way. Nice shot. Sully, we're running out of time here. Hold on, kid. Nearly there. Nice shot. Almost there. Unless you're driving a hearse, you better hurry. Little brother, I'm going to go for a limo. Nathan, time to go. for this. Shit. What? It's empty. What? Oh, you're such an <laughs> asshole. He's your brother. All right. Skull and crossbones. Very good, sir. Xavier's insignia. What is this? Uh, Odie mecum eris in paradise. Today you will join me in paradise. paradise. It's what Jesus said to St. Dismas on the cross, right. but what about these numbers here? What do, you, what do you make of this? It's some kind of code or a phone number. <laughs> Come on. The dates. Huh? Look. 1659. It's the year Avery was born. 1699. Let me guess. The year he died. Well, uh, by most accounts, yeah, but that means we have date of birth, date of death, and... Paradise, which means we're looking for Avery's grave. St. Dismas's Cathedral. <laughs> Wait a second. 
Hasn't Rafe been scouring that site for ages already? Yeah, the cathedral. See these symbols? Yeah. These are found on old Scottish gravestones. Right. Right? Now, look at this. The layout of this place is really unusual. Uh. Here's the cathedral. But the graveyard, it's way over here. <sighs> Rafe's been focusing on the wrong area. Exactly. Guys, we're going to Scotland. All right, all right. Wait, wait up. You do realize that Rafe knows you're coming. Yeah, we can deal with that when we get there. Look, that psycho would like nothing better than for you to show up. Plus, he's got Nadine and her whole army to back him up. Yeah, but he doesn't have this. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. I thought this was about saving Sam. It is. But come on, it's both, right? We need the treasure so we can save Sam. How is Elena cool with all this? Jesus, kid. Look, it's just not that simple. Look, with all that you two have been through together... She wouldn't understand this. You are not giving her enough credit. I can't take that chance. <clears throat> Nathan, he's right. But things have changed. Rafe's involved now, and... I can, I can take this on my own, really. Great. Well, thank you for your input, both of you. Excuse me. Hey. Hey, it's me. Yeah. Now the reception's lousy. Yeah. Something on your mind, dear? Look, I, uh, I realize it couldn't have been easy. All those years away. And I'm sorry for what happened to you. But it's not his fault. I never said that it was. It took a long time for him to get out of this game. You see a gun to his head? He chose this. Okay, he's meant for this life. You really believe that? Why are you here, Victor? Because somebody's got to keep an eye out for him. No, I'll just see you in a few more weeks. Yeah, I will. Okay, I love you too. Just told her that the job was going to take a little longer than expected, which is the truth, right? So come on, what do you say? Sam could still use our help. Well, <clears throat> I do hear that the weather is particularly fine in Scotland this time of year. <laughs>